If you want a quick anti-aging procedure without surgery or downtime, I have the weekend day for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Reynald Torres from the Reynald Center and today I'm with Angela to show you what you need to know about the weekend lift. With a combination of Botox, dermal fillers, threads, and lip fillers. The first step is the consultation, where I assess her face to make a treatment plan. Here, I take a picture of Angela and I discuss the areas that will need to be addressed. I explain the aging process where there's a loss of volume, loss of skin elasticity, and wrinkles. I then formulate a customized treatment plan for her. I then explain to her the benefits and what to expect after. Before starting the treatment, I apply topical anesthesia for 30 minutes. I then clean and sterilize her face. I now inject Botox on her forehead, brown lines, and crow's feet. The wrinkles on their upper face are usually caused by the contraction of the muscles in this area. Botox will relax these muscles and lessen the wrinkles caused by them. Next is dermal fillers. I use hyaluronic acid fillers to fill out the hollow areas. In Angela's case, she has deep lines on her mid face, something we call Indian lines. This hollowness gives the face a tired and drooping look. I just put enough fillers not to overfill her. During filling, I also use a special blunt needle called a cannula. This avoids puncturing blood vessels that can lead to bruising and more swelling. For the sagging jawline, I will put absorbable threads. There will be some mechanical lifting after placement of these threads. However, threads work best by stimulating collagen to form around them and give the skin more elasticity and tightness. It takes some time before collagen to form. This means it may take about a month before you see some changes in your face. I am now inserting each thread. When you age, collagen, the substance in your skin that gives it a rubbery and elastic feel, decreases. Stimulation of the skin with threads is called biostimulation. This triggers the skin to produce more collagen and bring back the youthful look and feel of your skin. I use a combination of large threads called cogs and small threads called monothreads. This will create an even mesh of threads in that area. After insertion of the threads, there may be a little bruising in the area. However, since no incision was done, compared to a surgical facelift, the amount of bruising is minimal and you may go to work the next day. The often overlooked part of the aging face is the lips. With time, the lip gradually loses volume, resulting in thinned out lips. In Angela's case, I sculpted her lips to emphasize the areas that are prominent, namely the middle part of the upper lip and the lateral part of the lower lip. Care is taken not to overfill the lips as this may look unnatural. After the procedure, the lips quickly swell, but this subsides the next day. I advise the patient not to wet the area for at least 6 hours. The beauty of this procedure is there's little to no downtime. You may repeat the weekend lift after 6 to 12 months, depending on the condition of your skin. Here is Angela before and right after.